Hey, this is James from survivalpunk.com. Hey guys. And good morning. I've got I've got something I bought. So normally normally when I do these unboxing, unletter opening, didn't mark my name out on this. Normally Company send me stuff and I open it and I talk about it. This time, I had a friend come out with a new book. So instead of hitting him up for it, um, and he did send me a copy digitally, but I can't. <laughs> the day James from SorrelPunk.com starts doing un email opening videos. It's over, guys. <laughs> That's when the shit has hit the fan. No. So, I, uh... I, I don't actually love digital copies. Um, I've reviewed and I've read... I've read many digital copies. But nothing beats a book. So, when he came out with a new product, I wouldn't bought it. Because you support your friends. Damn, Amazon. Oh, I guess I was trying to cut through the book. There we go. So, obviously, for Amazon fulfillment, there's nothing in there. This is, oh, sorry, Gary. Going off the grid with Gary Collins. Yeah, so, and I believe I have a shout out in this book. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? Um, yeah, so, I know a lot of you guys are interested in going off the grid um, or some portion thereof. So, like me, I'm semi off the grid. Semi off the grid. Um, and I have dabbled with more and I've dabbled with less. Um, you know, um, and I think a lot of us are dabbling with going towards more off the grid, um, but a comfortable more off the grid with, you know, redundant power supplies, whether that be solar, turbine, um, wind turbine, or, you know, micro hydro, or wood gasifier. That's fairly interesting. So different means of going off the grid. Gary, in this book, who is working on moving off the grid. If you don't follow his YouTube channel where he, he is building his off grid, not tiny house, but I mean, if you compare it to the standard American home size, it's a lot smaller. I think, I think he's at a thousand square feet, somewhere around there. So smaller than the standard, like 2,400 square feet. Um, Gary covers a lot of things in this book, so I'm going to have to read it. Uh, let's read the back of it real quick, guys. I need my reading glasses. Many people today are looking for a simpler, less hectic lifestyle. Are you one of those people? I know I am. Instead of running on the consumer nation, consumer nation treadmill like most people, I decided to take action and go in a different direction, which is where my off-grid project began. Knowing that other people are searching for the same thing, I decided to document my adventure for their benefit. In Going Off the Grid, the how-to book of simple living and happiness, I provide a step-by-step -step guide for how to find your private piece of land and building a self-sustaining self home. I recently built my own off-the-grid home in Northeast Washington State. 
building, not built. Um, <laughs> sorry. So this advice comes from first-hand experience. When building any home, things are not as easy as they appear on those DIY television shows. They are really not. Not at all. Built with a little knowledge about how this process works in the real world, I believe anyone can achieve their, achieve their dream of living a more quiet and peaceful life. The hardest part is taking the first step. And in this book, this book is the right place to start for any person interested in a going off the grid adventure. Gary Collins from the Primal Power Method. He's been on my podcast several times. Um, just let's look at a couple of the chapters to see what's in here. <clears throat> Once again, this is not a review. This is an unboxing, a first thoughts, an introduction to this. Um, I had a dick bag in my last unboxing video say, this is the worst review ever. Title the video, something, something, some unboxing. Did I say it was a review? No. Um, gotta love YouTube. Introduction. Uh, going off the grid. My story. So where do you start? Simplify your life. How to find your own off the grid property. Um, that, by the way, chapter three, finding your own property, is from page 14 to 23. It's a good amount of chapters. And it's something that I know a lot of you look for and research all the time. Um, f finding land is like number one. Where are you going to build your house at without it? Where are you going to build your homestead? Um, there are a lot of ways. And to be honest, it could probably be an entire book. How to find your off-grid property. Uh, first things first, the importance of water and well water basics. Or rainwater catchment. Or creek or, yeah. Um, there's a million different ways to do this. Understanding off-grid septic and sewage disposal. I'm going to be interested in reading that myself. Because I do things differently. Uh, i got to get Gary on here. we got to talk about some of these nitty-gritty things. Because we do things different, but that doesn't mean we do them wrong. Everyone, you know, there's no one, there's no one path to the off-grid um, living lifestyle. You know, it's whatever works. Uh, dealing with general contractors, the do's and don'ts. I didn't. The tiny house movement, a good alternative for just another fad. We've had talks about this. Uh, Off-grid power, understanding solar, wind, hydro, and geothermal energy options. Remote communications, internet, and phone access. We've had talks about this. It's That remote internet access is a... It should be fixed by now. <laughs> In the year 2017, there are options, and they're just not being utilized, and I don't understand why. Um, off-grid financing, bring cash and creativity. Common types of off-grid home construction, off-grid security. That is something that I haven't really talked about. So, if you want to know about it, you should probably read this book. Um, maybe I'll bring them on here sometimes. Conclusion, launching your own off-grid dream. Resources, page 147. I'm curious. The numbers quit being... There they are. Gary, I thought you gave me a shout out in here. No shout out. Gary. Anyway, um, going off the grid. Seems like a pretty legit book. I think I paid 15 bucks for it. I feel it's gonna be worth that. So definitely, definitely check it out. You can find it on Amazon. 
I will have a link to it. If you buy it, I make about three pennies. It doesn't charge you more money. Help support the blog and podcast. Uh, basically, I just take that money and buy more things from Amazon, like this, to review. So, shop through my link. You see more stuff that I buy that I can either recommend or be like, nope, this is garbage. In this case, I think Gary did a good job. So, check it out. DIY to go off the grid, you guys.